friendly neighborhood designer here. Look at this. I have two screens and I have my little cat, little cat. That is her name is little cat because she likes to be in my lap when I am talking. So here we are. Little cat is going to help me get on to all of you right now because we're talking about folders and I, I know you guys, I know you guys and I know what you're doing and we're going to talk about it. But today we're going to go over folders again and we're going to specifically go over the brand kit. Look how disappointed she is in you. Mm -hmm. You know why we're disappointed? Because when I ask clients and speaking events, I know half of you, raise your hand, half of you, look at all these tattoo, tattoo images that I've been working on because I'm going to get tattoo on Monday. Half of you are living out of this folder. I know you are. You're living out of this folder. You are putting things here and you're just hoping you can climb through them. Well, today is the last day that you are going to do that. Make a commitment, make folders, stop living out of your uploads folder. The good news is that from your uploads folder, when you're here, you can hover over items and click this folder icon below. <laughs> let's, let's go. Uh, click this little folder icon right here and then you can move things to fold. You can move things around. So get in the habit of moving to folder. The other trick that I want you to do when doing things is don't start a design from up here as much as possible. Trust me on this. As much as possible, try not to start a design up here. Try to start a design from the folder that you want it to be in. So if I'm in Let's Go Brand, and uh, actually right now I want to work on some Pinterest templates, click right here instead. Add new. Design. Once you do it this way, the design that you create is going to live in this fold is going to live in this folder instead. That is going to be your best bet. All right, this isn't necessarily a folder video. In fact, what I really want to talk about is the brand kit, which is why I have this open over here. <sighs> Prior to Canvas 2023 March update, I was a huge proponent of, hey guys, you need to make yourself a brand folder. And I still am. You need to make yourself a brand folder. So this is mine. This is Let's Go Brand. If I go back to home again, you can see I've got it over here on my left side. It's called Let's Go Brand. Here we are. It has my stock images, video stock that I own, my terrazzo patterns, my gradients, my flat lays that I had done, icons, brand patterns, illustrations, sticker shapes, and my brand headshots. This is a lot of things and it's not going to fit in the brand hub. So I recommend if you have a large brand like me, go ahead and put everything in these folders. Make yourself a dedicated folder. I also have my style guide, my Canva Tip Weekly animated logo that I use here. Um, and for some reason, this presentation is here. So we're going to move that because I have a handy folder called presentations, which is where I keep presentations, which is where I keep all the presentations that I do in case I ever need to cross reference or reutilize one someday. No, today, not necessarily folders, but today I want to talk about if you click over here on brand hub and then brand kit, you're going to notice something real special about the March 2023 update. When you scroll down, there are three new buckets where you can download stuff. What? which is why I have all of this open over here because before you can be here, you need to be here. So this is my Finder window. You're gonna notice that I use Dropbox. I have it connected to Finder. If you don't know how to do that, you might wanna give that a quick little goog. When I come to Dropbox um, and then design projects, I have what I call a brand hub. And this is where I have all my junk. And yes, this is a very intimidating folder. I swear I know where it's all at. Um, but today I wanna show you what I'm gonna be doing with my headshots. So I get quarterly headshots through my photographer or I try to make sure I get them based on like hair length and, and life, uh, life items. So here I have all of my quarters and this is a lot. This is a lot. This is too many, this is too many headshots for me to uh, manage. So here under photos, I'm actually going to include my favorite ones only. Uh, and that is going to be my decision. Graphics you guessed it, is the core of my brand. That's going to be my terrazzo. I'm gonna put all of my terrazzo graphics under graphics because that's gonna be the heart of what I use. And then icons are gonna be all of my icons. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna load up all of these. Now, yours might be a little different. You might not have a terrazzo pattern or a pattern in general. If you don't have that, perhaps you do have some graphics in a different way. Perhaps you have some, um, 
cool sparkles or paper textures or um, what do I have? Uh, linear gradient. I don't know what all of that is. Um, maybe you have Canva Tip Weekly or you have a collage headshot that you want to use. Maybe you have something that can go in graphics that is going to be the core. Hey, Olivia, where do these show up? I'm going to show you in a minute. First, I'm actually going to use my Terrazzo here. So you're going to see that I have a folder in my brand hub on my computer called uh, Tiles and Backgrounds of Terrazzo. So for right now, I'm going to highlight all of these and I'm going to drag them over here in graphics and then I'm going to be patient and I'm going to hydrate while I wait. You are needy today. All right. So now uh, I'm going to pause and let these upload. Great. Now that these are uploaded, where, where do these go, Olivia? Well, let me show you. So, um, this is this, uh, playground. I started with this because I wanted to mention that if you didn't watch last week's video, I think it's a really good one. Um, on type, this is a, such a fun playground. Looks like 44 of you did download it, so I hope that you guys got some enjoyment out of it. But where does the, where do these items show up? I'm actually also going to add my icons as well. Okay, so I have my icons ready to go. There's a couple of these that I use really consistently. Like my computers I'm in love with, my flowers, this candle, regular laptop. Great. So I'm going to drag, oh, I'm not there yet. I'm going to drag all of these items over here to icons as well because I do want to show you where these things pop up. You know what? And while I'm here, I went ahead and also organized my approved Olivia shots. So all of these are my favorite headshots of myself and we're going to go ahead and put those in photos. So there you have it. This is a complete brand kit that is now full of all of my logos. Of course, they are SVGs, some color palettes. <laughs> I have a lot. Uh, my entire font suite, which I talked about in the last video. All of my photos that I consider my brand photos, graphics, and icons. Now let's see how they look in practice. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to let little cat off my lap. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into uh, Let's Go Social because I need to create um, all of May's social media posts, which I have not done yet. Check this out. So I'm going to click Add New and I'm going to click Design and then Create New. And this is actually going to create this in this folder. So here I'm going to search Instagram. Square is square. Instagram. Don't forget, let Canva do all that work for you. And now here we are. When I come over here, you're going to see that there is a new brand hub connection over here. I'm going to click on that. And now my entire brand it lives here instead of it being in folders all over my computer, which is pretty handy. This is going to make it a lot easier for you to access your logos, your colors, your fonts, and your photos and graphics and icons from one place. So if I'm going to make a quick uh, social media post, um, I'm going to type, click add a heading, which is my main brand font. Um, I'm going to do don't stress out your designer, become BFFs with your folders. Uh, and I actually have a folder icon somewhere that I think is really cute, but don't stress out your designer, become BFFs with your folders. Um, let's come over here to photos. So see, now I can see all of these. I don't look particularly stressed in any of these, but for the sake of the post, we're going to do this. We're going to do background remover. You guys have given me feedback that you love watching me design, so we're going to watch me design here. Don't stress out your designer. Become BFFs with your folders. Here, I'm going to use my brand background. Go back to, oh, I'm already at Brand Hub. So Canva did also update their folder structure where now there's like a little back arrow. So now I'm back over here. I'm going to come over here to graphics. I'm going to place this green terrazzo. Uh, I'm going to tilt it. Boop. And I'm going to put it behind me. So it's like I'm... We're going to do this. Already you can kind of see this shaping up. Shaping up. Why am I in the way? Ha, <laughs> look at me right next to my... I look exactly the same. This photo is from 2020. Can you... Look at this. Except I have worse vision. <laughs> uh, we'll cover that up. Uh, Alright, we're going to... Okay. Ba -ba -ba. Um, this is just, I don't think I'll actually post this, but this is just to show you how to use all of this. And then now here are my icons and I'm going to grab this little computer. Mm -mm -mm. Look how sweet. Uh, amazing. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, so now all of these items are right in here. 
Am I still going to use the other folder? Yes, and let me show you how Canva has updated that as well. When you come over to projects now, this is going to be all of your folders. You're going to see over here that you can drop down between all projects, your projects, and shared with you. So if you guys have ever had trouble with, oh my gosh, I can't find something, it might be because you only have your projects and not things that have been shared with you. So check out that you've got the right permissions up here. So under your projects, you're going to see that now we've got all designs, folders, images, videos. Once you click on, oh, here's my tattoo. Um, you guys just get the whole shebang from Olivia. There's my personal work. I should probably have a personal Canva, but I don't. It's all in one thing. Uh, when you come over here to folders, you're going to see all of your folders. And I still have um, Let's Go Brand. So I'm going to click right here. And I'm also going to click See All. I don't know why it does this. It's only prioritizing the first four or you can click on folders and designs. I'm gonna click see all. I still have too much stuff for the brand hub in my opinion, although my opinion might change. I'm gonna try loading those folders up a little bit more. I just have so many icons, so many images, so many things that I use with my brand. So I do believe I will still be utilizing this folder, uh, but I'll let you guys know in a future update if I decide to change my mind. There is one last thing that I wanna do with you guys, and that is to um, show you what if you don't have icons and stock photos and things like that? Like, what are you supposed to do? Well, don't worry. I get things all the time. First of all, these both need to be commercial. So I'm going to buy some things on Creative Market that... I think I changed my mind on these flowers, but I do want to make sure I still have them. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. So I really love this like weird blooming surface paper cut flowers situation happening here. So I'm going to make sure I have a commercial license so that I can use this on my business Instagram. Yes, I am okay paying two more dollars to make sure I can use this commercially. Um, 16 bucks is a really great amount, honestly. Uh, that is a small price to pay for lots and lots of things. I am going to actually show you guys this to make sure you're aware. Um, what I'm looking for is, personally, if you can get SVGs, that's going to be the best. Um, here, I'm seeing that this is only going to be an AI, EPS, JPEG, PNG. I'm a designer, so I can change these to be SVG just fine, but for the use case here, um, I'm seeing PNGs, which means that I could upload them transparently to uh, Canva. So that's what you're looking for. So I am going to go ahead and purchase this. No one wants to see all this. Great. So I want to make sure I go over this process because I get asked this question a lot. What happens now? How do I get these things to here to here? Well, I'm going to click the download button. <laughs> um, once I click download, I'm going to go back to this brand hub and I'm going to go to a folder that I know that I've created, which is called assets. And it's where I've got a bunch of cool stuff. So I'm going to hit save. And then I'm using Google Chrome, so all I have to do is click over here, but you might not be, so I still got this folder over. You're going to click on Assets, and then up here, you're going to double click on this item. Then you're going to wait patiently. And now here we are. We're going to see that this uh, creator has given me this. So I'm looking for flowers, and I'm looking for the PNGs. Look how fun all of these little shapes are. I think they work really well. Um, for where I want to take my brand. Um, they just look really fresh and fun. So now that I have all of these, I'm going to come over to, of course, my Let's Go Brand folder. I'm going to make a new folder called um, Flower Assets. And then you're going to see here, I don't know why this says that, hidden from search and projects, huh? That's such a strange thing. Um, flower assets, I'm gonna click continue. I'm gonna make sure that anybody in my team can be able to see these flower assets as well. You're gonna see Canva made that folder but didn't take me to it, so I am going to click open. <laughs> and then I'm going to um, highlight all of these and I'm gonna drag them over. And there we go. Ta-da! So now these are all uploaded over here. So I'm gonna come, make sure you refresh. Anytime you do something in another tab, this tab doesn't know that we just did it. So we're going to refresh this. And then I'm going to navigate to projects, folders, let's go brand, how organized this is. And then there's my new flower assets. So I'm going to add this little squiggly guy right here and maybe this little squiggly funky thing right here. I mean, of course, these aren't my brand colors. As a designer, I will recolor them on my own. Um, but check it out. That was 
is easy as one, two, three. It took me 16 bucks to get something from Creative Market to my computer to a design. So I highly invest, A, if you're gonna take the time to do this, start with your computer. I bet you're living out of your downloads folder. Don't do that. Make yourself some folders on your computer that have to do with um, your headshots, your brand files, your icons, your logos. Then once all of this is organized, you're gonna come over to the brand hub, brand kit, and then start filling this bad boy up. Get this full of all of your brand assets so that you have the puzzle pieces that you need. And then if you're feeling like it's getting too much or you need more organization, then make yourself a handy dandy folder and try as much as you can to put designs in folders. As much as you can, try to highlight things and really have them in one centralized folder. That's it for today. I hope this gave you a couple of helpful tips. This one is gonna be more of a please go do it, like stop this video, take an hour and organize your folders. It's the nicest thing you can do for yourself today, I promise. Uh, it's gonna be something that is just going to crucially help you. If I wasn't organized, I would not know I even had some of these pieces. So it's really important to get all of this together. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget there's a schedule in the email, so next time, we're finally talking about brand templates. It's time that I get to that topic. Brand templates are something that I've avoided because they're kind of a weird concept in Canva. Um, and then it's documents um, in Canva. And then I'm gonna be doing a crowdsourcing folders. So this one was more about the brand hub. Um, I'm gonna be going over more of a thorough folder refresher. I'm gonna be honest with you guys since you're watching. This one was a little bit loosier, goosier. This May 29th one is gonna be more of like an SEO one. So it's gonna not have my cat in it. It's gonna be very, uh, focused, so stick around for that. Thanks guys for watching. We're